captions. It's not just text or motion on the screen. It's the secret ingredient that you are missing. When creating a video, we always focus on content quality and SEO performance. And including captions can improve the searchability of your video. When search engines can read and index the text, it can help your video appear in relevant searches. And animated captions can be more powerful than static text because it helps to keep the viewer's attention and engagement throughout your video. So in this video, we'll dive into how you can create animated captions with a single click to make your videos more engaging. Previously, I made a video about creating animated captions in Premiere Pro manually. While many people love these animations, but I received lot of comments asking about faster methods. So let me introduce the best Premiere Pro plugin is called Brevity. It's an AI powered plugin for Adobe Premiere Pro that makes it easy to create dynamic captions for your videos. It comes with a growing collection of trending caption presets that are ready to use instantly. These presets are shared by the Brevity community that have been created by other users and are available for you to use. This plugin includes 20 default presets. And you can also design your own custom presets that align with your brand identity. For a 7 day free trial of Brevity, you can check it out under the description link. First, download the Brevity extension, then download the ZXP installer from AE Scripts. It's available for both Mac and Windows. Download the version that matches your operating system. Once the download is complete, install it. Now open the ZXP installer, select the Brevity extension and simply drag and drop it into the ZXP installer. It will take just 20 to 30 seconds to install it. Alright, let's jump into Premiere Pro and see how to use Brevity. To find Brevity inside the Premiere Pro, navigate to the window extensions and click on Brevity. Now enter your Brevity email and password, then click on sign in. Now open the sequence you want to create captions for. Set the in and out points in the timeline for the section you want to caption. Click the captions button in the Brevity panel. Now select the caption style. You will find three categories, trending, default and save presets that you've created. I would like to choose one of the preset I've created. For the transcription, just keep it accurate. Additionally, if you'd like, you can translate your captions into other languages. Then click on create. It will start transcribing and generating your captions. And the generation time depends on your timeline duration. Alright, as you can see, a new layer called Brevity Captions appears in the timeline. Let's watch a quick preview. This is only for people who want to be top of the world. Doesn't matter if you are a beginner or expert. We all have something to learn and we are in this together. The best part of Brevity is that it creates all captions in a single layer. So you don't need to manage multiple layers. Now let's take a quick overview of the Brevity tools. The first one is the highlighted tool. When we click on suggested highlight, Brevity AI will automatically highlight important words in your captions. This is only for people who want to be top of the world. Doesn't matter if you are a beginner or expert. We all have something to learn and we are in this together. You can also do it manually. Just click on any word you want to highlight and click the word again to remove the highlight. Next is the media tool which allows you to add stock footage, emojis and GIFs. Let's try the suggest emojis. Brevity will analyze your captions and suggest emojis that match your content. Now simply download the emojis you want to add to your sequence. This is only for people who want to be top of the world. Doesn't matter if you are a beginner or expert. We all have something to learn and we are in this together. I love the last one so I'll delete the first two emojis. Let's adjust the duration of this emoji. I want to remove the highlight from the word together, so it matches with the emoji. Next is the paragraph tool, which lets you control how many lines appear in your caption block. You can adjust the lines to increase or decrease the number of lines in the each block. I prefer to keep it at just one line. And we can control the amount of characters per line in your caption block. 
you can adjust the character slider to increase or decrease the number of characters in each line. This is only for people who want to be top of the world. Doesn't matter if you are a beginner or expert. We all have something to learn and we are in this together. I like to keep it is around 20 characters. Next is the text tool. Here you can edit the text in your captions or correct if any mistakes in the transcription. Next one is the cut tool. It allows you to remove silences from your sequence. And the last one is the retime tool. It allows you to adjust the timing of your captions. In the top right corner, click on the three dots to access settings. Here you can undo or redo your edits. You can also resync, retranscribe and export the captions. Now let's see how to customize the captions. Click the style button in the Brevity panel. Brevity will open a new window with all of the styling options. Click on the presets drop down menu to browse all Brevity presets. To preview any preset, simply hover your mouse over it. Brevity offers an expanding library of trending caption presets from its community, along with 20 built-in default presets. You can also create and save custom presets that match your brand's unique style. Let's apply a default preset and see how you can customize it. This is only for people who want to be top of the world. So first, you can adjust the position of your caption to the top, middle or bottom. Padding creates space between the caption block and the screen's edge. You can adjust the caption scale as needed. I'll skip the block animation and random rotation options. Next, let's enable the caption background. You can customize the background color, opacity, roundness and X and Y padding. For fonts, you can choose any custom style. I would like to choose integral CF font. I prefer to keep it bold. You can adjust the paragraph alignment, font tracking and capitalization. Feel free to change the font color to match your style. Since I'm already using a black background, I won't need the stroke. You also have the option to enable drop shadows. Next one is the active text. Active text is the word that is currently being spoken in the video. As you can see, the yellow words are my active text. You can increase or decrease the size of the active text. You can choose from a variety of animations for the active text. Or if you don't need the animation, you can keep it to none. I would like to choose fade animation to keep it minimalistic. Then adjust the animation's intensity and speed to fit your needs. And keep the text tracking same as your main text tracking. You can also change the active text color. I would like to make it a little bit orange. And I don't need the stroke. You can also add a background for the active text if needed. But I don't need that either. For now, I'll skip the following text option. Let's watch a quick preview. This is only for people who want to be top of the world. Doesn't matter if you are a beginner or expert. We all have something to learn and we are in this together. Now we're going to save this as our own preset so that we can apply it with a single click next time. At the top left of the brevity panel, click on the new button. Here enter your preset name, then click on save. Alright, now we can simply click on any preset to apply it. This is only for people who want to be top of the world. Doesn't matter if you are a beginner or expert. We all have something to learn and we are in this together. And that's it with Brevity. Don't forget to grab your 7 day free trial using the link in the description. But if you'd like to learn how to create animated captions manually, you can check out this video. See you in the next one. Have a nice day.